welcome back to Peaks 47. In this mini series, I'm going to be converting this 2P back to its LMS livery. The first thing I'm going to be doing is removing these numbers and putting a larger 626 on it and getting rid of the BR logo and putting the LMS back on it. There's lots of different methods to get these transfers off. I use a cutting compound that we'd use to restore two-pack paint. Works really well with the cotton bud. Takes some time. It doesn't really damage the plastic. Leaves it a little bit shiny in the area. So you could either key that key that up with some really fine wet and dry, or in this case, I just put the transfers over it, and then once I've weathered it, um, you don't you don't see the the shiny marks so that it's left. So I'll just give you a little example um, and then that's going to be me probably for a couple of hours scrubbing it all off. I'm going to attempt to try and get this gold lining off and try and save the red on the inside at the same time. I doubt I'm going to be able to save the red but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to leave these red bits on, just leave a bit of detail anyway. So this is the compound I'm using. This is what we um, use at work. Once we've painted a job, nip any imperfections out the paintwork and then machine polish it up with this and then a, a, ver a varied of finer compounds after this to finish the vehicle off but in this case this is a one stage purely just to get the transfers off so I'll squirt a bit into just a bit of a pot fair amount on the end of the cotton bud I mean, you've got to be you've got to work it quite hard and be quite patient you can hear the coarseness in it and if we look at that already that's starting to remove it so I'll carry on with this and I'll be back Okay, so that's taken me probably about half an hour aside. There's still some evidence of the gold. I'm going to actually try and lose that with weathering now. I found a couple of examples from 46, 47 where these things were absolutely hanging. The photos are black and white, but you can just see that the evidence is there. Uh, there was no gloss on them whatsoever lots of streaking they really went down the pecking order of these things by that sort of time you know okay I'm quite pleased with that, managed to get all the gold off. There's a few places where I've lost a bit of the red, but once it's weathered in, don't think you're going to notice it. I think it might look quite effective. I've had to use the airbrush just to touch some little bits in. As you can see around here, once I've got it numbered, got the LMS on it, put some streaking on. with some sort of like dark rust sort of colours. I think that's going to look really well. I'm... I'm glad I've managed to actually keep some of the red on it, just to give it a bit of detail. I've kept this little LMS above this front main wheel as well. Not sure if that was only put on in the BR days, but I quite like it. So I'm going to leave that on there for now. So I'd usually put the transfers on first. Sometimes I find that when you're weathering, you over weather the transfers. So in this instance, I think we're going to do the main majority of the weathering first, put the transfers on and then blow them in separately. So I've started with just some dry brush method using just a matte white, sort of where the watermark should be, but around the whistle, around the smoke box. We added some streaking along the tender, so now it's just a case of toning those down uh, with sort of like a grimy sort of colour and what I use to achieve that uh, is a Valley Joe paint this is 71129 
and it's light rust. The black that I've used as well, which is ultra matte black, um, is again by the same company with a code of 771251. It's actually called NATO Black, but it's a real, real mucky black. So um, they're the ones I recommend. So I've toned the white. So I've toned the white down with the light rust, and then I'm going to tone the light rust down with the matte black again, and hopefully still just about keep the red linings. Okay, don't think that's too far off. Ready for the transfers? We'll get it off the stand and have a closer look. So I'm pleased with that. I think I'm ready to apply the transfers and then just blow the tiniest of bits of paint over them just to tone them down. Put the crew in, get rid of the front coupling. May need to tone out the number on the front a little bit. You can still see the 40 on that. But all in all, that's starting to look like a worn loco. I think the last job I'll do is add some real coal in the top. So these are the transfers I'm going to use to put the LMS and the numbers back on my BR2P. As you can see, the company is called HMRS Transfers. A little bit of history and some information on the back that can become useful. So, there's a good choice of different ones. And the idea is, when you cut them out, you don't cut through the white, which is the backing. As you can see here, you just cut through almost the tracing paper bit. Put them onto your model, wet them up with a corner of your tweezers, just dip your tweezers in some water, give them a bit of pressure, and then I tend to dab them with a the kitchen roll, leave them a couple of minutes, and then the tracing paper will peel away and leave the transfer on the model. If you haven't got the number or the letter quite where you want it, you can re-wet it and then manipulate it very carefully with the corner of your tweezers to get them where you want. So this is how they look. So I've gone with number 645. She was built in Crewe in 1931. And she went into BR service and was taken off the lines in 1961. That was the number I went with. Re reason being, it was quite, it's quite an old loco by 47. Therefore, I can weather her up a bit. Um, I was actually going to initially choose 639, but after doing some homework... I realised that in 1934, she was taken out of service along with 591 um, due to an accident at Port Eglinton Junction. Just for a bit of history there for you. So I'm pleased with how they've came out. I've added some crew, got a driver and a fireman. 
Got to do some touch-ups on them. Weather down the decals, just so that within keeping with, probably with that LMS there. Uh, add some real coal to it. Remove the front coupling. And then that's nearly had its transformation. So I've weathered down the decals now. I'm going to class that as done. Got some real coal in it. Nice just to give it some gloss, a good contrast against the weathering. Front coupling's removed. Really pleased with how that's came out. So I'll get some running shots going now and see how she looks.